Hey, Tom, well, let's see what's on TV. <laughs> sure thing, boss. In South Dakota, anyway, Tom Daschle's Republican opponent is hoping to take advantage of the Senate Minority Leader's ties to President Clinton and in turn to the Lewinsky matter. The ad from attorney Ron Schmidt is called Tom and Bill, Bosom Buddies. Hey, Tom, do you think me and Monica have hurt the image of the office? I don't believe so at all. <laughs> yes, sir, Tom Daschle, is he working for us or for him? We now return to Upfront Tonight. Here again is Diane Diamond. Well, President Clinton's continuing problems are made all the worse for the Democratic Party because Election Day is drawing near. And as the Democrats feared, Republican candidates are having a field day when it comes to campaign ads. Case in point, the Senate race in the state of South Dakota. There, Senator Tom Daschle, who happens to be one of the president's close associates, is challenged by Republican Ron Schmidt. Of all the campaign ads we've seen here at Upfront tonight, it is Schmidt's that is the most provocative. Here, take a look. Hey, Tom, Tom, they're asking about the Chinese fundraising. Uh, you took a lot of that money, too. <laughs> Do something. I am your man. Tom, now it's Whitewater. Uh, pull some strings, would you? <laughs> sure thing, boss. Hey, Tom, do you think me and Monica have hurt the image of the office? I don't believe so at all. <laughs> yes, sir, Tom Dasher, is he working for us or for him? Well, my, my. Earlier, we talked about campaign ad spending and the emergence of ad issues, but there's another trend on the airwaves this election season, humor. Bill Schneider, once again, now with more on this latest campaign tactic. Well, Bernie, remember those 1994 GOP ads that showed Democratic candidates morphing into Bill Clinton? Well, now we have a new version, a Democratic puppet with Bill Clinton pulling the strings. In this case, the puppet is none other than Senate Minority Leader Tom Daschle of South Dakota. Hey, Tom Daschle, you better watch that Ron Schmidt. He wants to lower taxes. He does? Yep, and you increase taxes on Social Security benefits. I did? Ridicule seems to be the theme of this year's attack ads. From NBC News, this is Today with Katie Curry and Matt Lauer. Election Day is three weeks from today, as you can see from the ads that are running all over the airwaves. So we asked our national correspondent, Jamie Gangel, to see what role the Monica Lewinsky story is playing in this year's races. Jamie, good morning. Good morning, and obviously every race is different, and many Republican candidates are very pointedly avoiding the Clinton scandal. But in a number of races, Bill Clinton is very much the issue. Some of the ads are subtle, some are not. And it would appear that some Republicans are trying to show that the Democrats are merely puppets for the president. Hey, Tom, Tom, they're asking about the Chinese fundraising. Uh, you took a lot of that money, too. <laughs> Do something. I am your man. The truth is, Tom Ron Schmidt Whitewater. has practically uh, no chance of beating strange. South Dakota <laughs> Senator <laughs> Tom Daschle. But that hasn't stopped him from running this ad. Hey, Tom, do you think me and Monica have hurt the image of the office? I don't believe so at all. Tom Dasher, is he working for us or for him? I'm thinking about sending him some money so he spends, so he uh, plays it a little bit more often. I, uh, I think it's kind of silly, it's kind of silly, it's kind of silly. But it's, that's, that's politics and I have no trouble with it. <laughs> 